This is my Pro Bender 105. Um, and he's recently did a hydraulic conversion kit, and um, I've been looking at all the eBay clips, and this is my attempt at it. Uh, we put it on a rolling stand so it can be wheeled around the workshop and um, outside if needs necessary for bending long lengths of tube. Um, we've also set it up ready for bending, so we've got our marker on zero as you can see there and um, the conversion we've done is using this ram here it's um, part of a Feynman's Jaws of Life kit which we bought off eBay um, it's a 20 ton ram it's also double acting and um, telescopic so it's got a long long stroke on it so that you can almost bend a 90 degree bend in one hit the um, forward and backward controls are here if we push it forwards and backwards it actually makes the ram move in and out and um, we put it on our own bracket which um, bolts to the end bar as you can see here this is a 50 mil bit of solid rod that we've drilled out to take the uh, I think it's a 26 mil hole to take the dowel that's already there um, and then clamped it down with two new brackets front and back and put a nice solid back stuff on it so that it can push against um, the other end of it is basically just a piece of tube again or a bit of solid which we've drilled out so it takes one of the uh, original pins that can slide in and out off the two brackets that we bolted to the end two bolts as you can see there. Now this is a generator powered kit as you can probably hear in the background. I'm just going to um, turn it on full power and uh, we'll do a bend for you. That's nicely running now. So I'm going to start bending. And off we go. As you can see, quite a slowly moving ramp, but that's quite nice to see for the angle of bend that you're doing. I set it on zero, so we haven't allowed for any back bend at the moment. And as we get to the double part of the action ram, you'll see it speeds up slightly as well. Like so. Makes bending a little bit quicker. And that's on full extension. If we have a look at that, we've actually got 75 degrees of bend in one stroke, which is very nice. Now this might be a bit tricky holding the camera as well, but I'll pull it back, remove the pin, pull it back and down. We'll go for a 90 degree bend so I can get back to the second pin that we have. And um, a little bit further back. And now. Sorry about that, that was to uh, need two hands to get that back into place then we can start bending again. So we'll look at the degree. Go down to 90. I'll go about 3 degrees past the back. And then for the full back. 
screw that back. And I can turn the uh, generator off. Come back to the machine. Pull out that pin. I'm just going to put this down for a second while I take it out. And again, sorry about that, but there's your 90 degree bend. Nicely done. Fantastic benders, even manually, but to make them hydraulic just makes life that bit easier. And also, if you are tight for space, having them on a rolling chassis just 